we must release the past. Philippians chapter 3, verses 12 to 14. Not that I have already attained or am already perfected, but I press on, that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has also laid hold of me. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to, to those things which are ahead. I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. As we talk about God orchestrating the change of seasons in our lives, and as we recognize that a season is changing, there's a shift in uh, the working of God in our lives and the dynamic of His purposes, there are certain adjustments we must make to transition from our current season into the new season that God is bringing upon our lives. One of the things that we must learn to do is to release the past. As the Apostle Paul talks about his own spiritual journey, and he makes mention of this one thing, he says, forgetting those things which are behind. So we must learn to let go of the things which are behind us, meaning the past season, the season that we've just journeyed through. Now, when we say forgetting those things or releasing the past, it does not mean we burn up bridges and pretend that we've never journeyed through that season. That's not what we're talking about. What we're saying is that we learn to uh, release the things of the past. We hold on to them lightly. We are grateful for all that God has done. We're grateful for the experiences He's given us. Uh, we're grateful for the, all the answered prayers, the miracles, the uh, all the good things that He's enabled us to enjoy in the season that we've just journeyed through. But we understand that we cannot live in the things that have already transpired. What has happened has happened. They are now a thing of the past. And as much as they may have been so wonderful, so glorious, uh, we realize that a new season is coming upon us, and so we have to let go of the past. Sometimes a new season may mean new relationships that need to be formed. It may mean uh, uh, new assignments that we need to take. Uh, it may mean uh, uh, a new way of working, a new way of doing things. There could be a lot of changes that God wants us to make. So in whatever area that God is calling us to make those changes, we don't hold on tightly to the past. For example, we, we don't say, well, that's the only way I've done it, and that's the only way I'm going to keep doing something. No, we've done that, done certain things in a certain way in one season, but a new season may require that we change the way we work, that change the way we do things. And so we must be willing to let go of the way we've been accustomed to doing things and now adapt to uh, the new way of doing things that is determined by or that is required by the new season that is now coming upon us. So as we go into a new season, we must be prepared to let go of the past. Forget the things of the past. Get ready for the new things that are up ahead. Let's pray. Father, we ask you for the wisdom to know, Lord, the changes we need to make each time you transition us into a new season in our lives. Help us to understand what we need to do differently so that we can transition smoothly in what lies up ahead. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.